Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you how you can compile Asprite for development purposes or if you just want to test it out. But if you want to support the creators of Asprite, you may want to buy it on Steam or on their website. So let's get right to it. Also, if you enjoy my content, maybe consider subscribing and liking to help me making more videos just like this one. First, we will need to download some pieces of software. First, there is Visual Studio 2019 in the Community Edition. Then we will also need CMake. You can just download the Win64 x64 installer. Then we will need the A Sprite source code and the version you see right here may change uh, whenever you're watching this video. And you can just click on A Sprite releases or just the link in the video description and download the source zip file. Then we also need Ninja as a build tool. And you can just click on Ninja Win to get the pre-built binary. And then we will also need Skia for a sprite, and you can just go again on the link in the video description and download the 64-bit version. I have Visual Studio already installed, so I'm not gonna install it again because it's a pretty big download. But please make sure that you have the desktop development with C++ and the Windows 10.0.18362.0 SDK installed with it. Next, let's install CMake. Just double click on the MSI and go through the installer and make sure that you add CMake to the system path for all users. Click next again, next, install. Then we want to go into program files, CMake or wherever you have CMake installed and go into the bin directory of CMake and copy the ninja.exe from the ninja zip file into there. Now in your root C directory, you want to create a new folder called depths, like dependencies. Go into it and create again another folder and call it skier. And again go into it. Now you want to take the zip file, the skier zip file, and extract it into there. Just make sure that there are no double folders, like skier slash skier. should look something like this. Now again go back to your root C drive and create another folder and this time just call it asprite. And again copy the contents of the source code into there. And again be aware of double folders. While in this directory you can also direct directly create a new folder called build. We will use this in a few seconds once we compile the code. Now we have to open up a terminal and run a few commands. I'll put all of them in the video description and first we will need to run this command which will set up some environment variables for CMake. Now we will need to cd or change directory into the asprite folder we created a few seconds ago which includes the source code and we can directly cd into the build directory and in this build directory we have to generate the build environment using CMake. And again, this is a pretty long command, which will also take a good amount of time depending on your computer. Okay, so now we can see that it uh, generated the build environment because it says configuration done and generating done and also that build files have been written to C Sprite build. Now it's time to actually compile these files CMake now generated and to do that we use Ninja which we have installed previously in the CMake bin directory and to run it we just type Ninja A Sprite. Hit enter and this will also take a while. And now again we can see that it's finished because it says linking CXX uh, executable bin asprite.exe and we can just ignore those warnings down here. So let's go back into our asprite directory, go into build and bin and if you have if you have an asprite.exe and data folder right here then you know it actually worked. We can also test this out further by just running the asprite.exe. 
And yes, it does open up. We can create a new file and we can draw on it. Okay, nice. Now those steps are completely optional now, but I like to copy the data and a sprite.exe and put it, for example, into a C program files x86 and put it into an a sprite folder. Again, please copy the data folder with it, otherwise it won't work. Now right click on the asprite.exe and create a shortcut and move that shortcut into C program data Microsoft Windows start menu programs and then into just into this folder right here you can see that um, this allows us to search for the a sprite for a sprite uh, when we hit the windows key and type a sprite then you can see it shows up there and that's really all there is to it if you have any questions or need help feel free to ask in the comment section and till then see you next time